Hey guys, how's it going? Jason's here. Let's talk about firewall configuration on our Yaystar S Series PBX. Firewall rules help to control and filter traffic that is sent to the PBX. Allow trusted packets while dropping untrusted ones. So we can use it to prevent top fraud or other malicious attacks from the internet. Now, let's learn about how to configure the firewall on the PBX. Before we get started, we need to figure out what hosts are allowed to access the PBX. Usually, we recommend adding the following devices and hosts to the list. All the devices in the local network, remote phones, and other devices, like your PC, the VoIP provider server, NTP, SMTP, POP, and Stun servers. You can also add other hosts according to your network environment. Take this as an example. In the local network, all the devices which need to access the PBX are deployed in this IP range. So let's jump in. Choose Settings and Security. Go for Firewall. By system default, the firewall is running. As you can see, some accept rules for Yaystar servers have been created to ensure a successful connection. Down here, we have two more rules. They are for IP phones registered via auto provisioning. Once IP phones are configured via auto-provisioning, accept rules will be created automatically to allow the normal connection. We're supposed to create an accept rule for all of the local devices mentioned just now. Click on Add, name it, set the action to accept, choose both protocols of TCP and UDP. In type, choose IP and fill in the IP range down here. Enter the port range allowed. Here we allow all ports, that's all. By the way, we can also specify the MAC address of the device or enter a domain name to allow their connection with PBX. Save and apply. You can follow the same method to add rules for other hosts. If you want to know more details, please check our document center. Once we've created rules for trusted hosts, we can just drop other untrusted access. Check the option Drop All up here. So only the hosts added in the accepted rules will be able to access the PBX successfully, while the rest will be dropped directly. Be careful when checking the option. Don't enable it unless you have created accepted rules for the local devices. By the way, the system also allows you to decide whether to disable pain response. Click the Save button here. The new rule is working. Alright, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Get more details, check our document center, I will see you guys in the next one.